Well, today is our Friday video, and normally, if you know my procedure around here, I would be back on my sheep wagon project. But I'm going to postpone that a little bit. I've been surfing around on this internet looking for a wood treatment that might be a little more toward the gray tone and not quite so much toward the brown tone that this vinegar metal filing solution has a tendency to go to. So I ran across some, ordered it, got it in, and I'm kind of playing with it a little bit. I want to see what some of these effects might be before I go ahead and do it to this whole project. So the owner came in this week and we visited about it and he likes the idea of going back toward a little more gray tone, but he's totally fine with this vinegar solution that I use as well. So while I play with that, I get to play with my manure spreader a little more. Well, this is the housing that held the bushing that I played with last week. Got those kind of built back up again. This is the bushing after I painted it, and it's going to fit right in here from this other side. Well, there's a stud here that I mentioned before that has been broken off, and then there's one here that has a little groove in it, and I was kind of pondering, was this broken off as well? Well, this is the gear that goes on this section. And I have some old chain here that's going to replace what was missing. And so this is going to go about like so. So it looks to me like this chain has been rubbing on this tab here. It looks like perhaps it has just worn, worn this little groove through here, probably from the action of this chain. So I don't think I have to worry about replacing this, but I do want to replace this. So trying to figure out just exactly what this is, it's 13 16 halfway between 3 quarter and 7 8 So I think I'm going to go 3 quarter, and this is the reason why. So this is the iron that hinges on that tab, and it goes through this hole right here. A 3 quarter inch bolt will fit loosely on here, which I think was probably the intention. You know, it was 13 sixteenths perhaps on that tab, but I'm also measuring at the base, it may have a slight taper to it. So that fits well, but when I try to put a 7 8 bar through there, it won't fit. So I'm not gonna put a 7 8 in that stud. I'm gonna do this and it'll actually fit through about like so. So I'm going to drill and tap this and just thread this three quarter inch bolt through there. The one on the other side shows from this shoulder out about an inch and an eighth. So I'll cut this head off and just thread that right in there for a replacement stud. Well, because of this setting up like so, I need to take and put this on a platform that I can put this on my drill press. And and get it to lay flat. So I'm going to just take a three inch hole saw and relief through this so this will set flat on my table. Yeah, somewhere about in here perhaps. Yeah, that'll set flat on my drill press. Kind of like so.
next goal is to get this wheel off that holds the beater bars. There's one on both sides and then there's one in the center as well. And then I want this sprocket off that actually drives the chain for the apron. Now when these things set out for as long as these do, the rust is our biggest enemy. So I have been taking blaster into this set screw hole here and soaking it for about a week. And so far it is still refusing to budge. So my biggest friend is heat. I have taken the torch and heated this up trying to increase the penetration of this blaster, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm just gonna increase my heat. And I know all of you who do this for a living or even as a hobby, know that you don't want to get too aggressive with this cast iron. Heat and a light hammer and just a lot of light taps. That light tapping not only helps the penetrating oil to penetrate and do its job, but that impact vibration helps break loose that rust. And the greater the heat, the more that rust breaks down. Now generally on these bolts, when I heat these nuts up, I don't like to turn the nuts when they're red hot that rust will actually act as a flux and you can forge weld it right together. So I bring it up red hot and then I let it completely cool and it burns that rust out and generally it releases better than any penetrating oil that I've used. So penetrating oil, light hammer, lots of heat. I've tried it the gentle way. I'm going to increase the heat and try to get this thing off.
Now the process of taking this off, you all probably notice this spot here that's really well worn. Well, this is where that bushing ran and it wore out the bushing so much, but in the process of wearing the bushing, it also wore out the shaft. So I'm gonna have to do some repair work on this shaft here. Well, this sprocket also has a keyway in it and the key is in it, but there is no set screw that I can see so evidently, maybe this chain just held it in place, didn't require the set screw. So I'm going to try to take this off, and again, just the process of heat and a lot of lights happen. Well, I was just about to the point of having to admit that I was wrong. This thing fought me and fought me and fought me. I probably spent half an hour on this heating and tapping and through the process of my mind going, now how am I going to show this? I was thinking, well, I'm going to have to admit that, okay, maybe it didn't work, but it finally did. I had to heat each section around each one of these little cogs to where it was bright red and then just keep gently persistently tapping on it and it finally did let loose. So I've been playing with these bolts on my main frame and I think I've got them where I can get them out. So that's the back of the side frame on this left side. I need to take this out from my cross frame. Just in the scan. Sacrifice a blade. Not where it was at. So I've already calculated that we're inch and five eighths by six. Any guesses what our length is? Follow the bends of the board. Well, nine foot four, and maybe about five eighths. I'm going to guess for a little punky on the end. We're going to go for nine foot five. Well, I would have guessed maybe more of an even number, like nine six, but it is what it is. Kind of nice to have it inside. We're headed for winter this weekend. 
we're going to 25, 30 below area. So it's nice to have this inside. Make a little headway. I'll do some sandblasting on those rear wheels for the beater and the sprocket that runs the apron. Kind of clean those up. I may have to get into doing the right side so I can get these shafts off because that one for the beater, I got to do some rebuilding on it. Kind of fun to play. Appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching.